think the most helpful information I've learned this year is to be patient and if it doesn't work the first time, to try again and that's okay. Um, it's not always going to work the first time, whatever plan you might have, um, but just to try something else and that's okay and to be flexible and um, to be willing to uh, change your ideas of a certain thing as well. Um, the most rewarding thing I think in the last year is uh, to see how much I've grown, I think, uh, academically as well as personally. Um, I think I've changed a lot in um, a lot of my beliefs and ideals, and also just to see um, how that's affected me, I guess, with kids. So kind of same thing as the last question. It's been exciting just to keep learning, I guess, and um, to see the growth that kids have made. Um, and. Uh, I think I really noticed that, especially in my functional practicum this last spring. I had a lot of fun working with this student um, that I had, and it was really rewarding and exciting to see how much growth he made in that short few weeks, and how excited he was about it too, and how much ownership he had um, for what he was doing. Going forward, I think I'm just mainly excited about being done. Um, <laughs> hopefully getting a job, but also just continue my learning, I guess, and my growth. I think that's been a really fun thing to see kind of how much I've learned and, and um, how my philosophies have changed and um, how that's changed how I've worked with kids too, from the fall practicum to the spring practicum and to see how different I felt like those were and how much more successful I was and more prepared I was in the spring. So I'm excited kind of for that full-time student teaching experience and having another year under my belt and to kind of see how different that is and um, what I'm able to do.